Ooh. COVID test done. Okay, look, I got so much to tell you. My time before this concert has been like wild. So I went over there watching uh, some, some TV on the laptop and the lights get the flickering. I'm like, oh no, oh God, please turn on the lights, turn on the lights, turn on the lights. I'm so excited I just can't Cause that's definitely the move And I gotta take a shower I'm done I'm ready I had to change the wig The wig was stressing me out It was too high maintenance I'm like uh uh sis I'm the only queen around here, sis. Okay. <laughs> I am the only queen, sweetie. So, bring it down a notch. This year, I have expanded. Okay? I'm an actor now. My highlights were on ESPN. And so I'm thinking that I can add another one. It's called so I made up a dance for jump ship. It goes like this. You ready? Ooh. COVID test done. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah, that one. That's tougher than I remember. <sighs> is it, is it just me or after COVID test? I be wanting to itch like right up here. Ooh, child. Oh, I think she stuck it up too far. Cause I heard the rapper was supposed to be like, you know, very much so right here. It felt like she went all the way up here. But she had the, um, she had the bigger swab. Child. Good job. This is taking so long. Like, hurry up. I'm trying to go to Kalamazoo to record something that I'm excited for. That I'm having faith in God for. That I'm hoping God for. And uh, all that. So, I still don't know where I'm about to sleep. I don't know where I'm about to put my head down. I have no clue what hotel I'm going to opt into in Chicago. But I'm trying not to spend five dollars. You know, I just want to spend like a solid four. You know, three fifty. That'd be delicious. You know what I'm saying? Um, I I'm still excited. This is a lot of work though. So excited. I, I was packing for three hours this morning. And then I went to CVS to take a rapid test. They didn't have a rapid test. I got mad at the girl. She kept talking over me. Then boom, I come here. And she was like, yeah, it's about mm, three people in front of you. I'm like, okay, well, I want the rapid test done. Okay, yes, we have that available. And uh, so I'm like, okay, Beth Kevin, just go grab something to eat because you haven't ate. And if you don't eat, you're going to be in a bad mood. So, boom. I had some uh, Nashville hot KFC chicken tenders and them boys was good. Oh, okay. Good news. Hello. Negative. Hey, negative. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay. All right, so first stop, Western Michigan. Y'all see, I put my wig on, I put my makeup on. I'm about to record a video really quickly right in front of this building, Corman Hall. Now, Corman Hall was the building that all the fashion students was, you know, sewing in, going to, and it was like everything. So I'm gonna create a quick video in front of that. And then I'm gonna go around the campus and do another video. And I think I might be sleeping in Kalamazoo and then going to Chicago tomorrow, but we'll see. Okay, all right. Deuces. But I think everything, I got some really good shots. 
and I think everything is going as planned because I had no plan but God is uh definitely in it and working it out um my head kind of hurt I think I want some like water and food but I don't want to drink that much until I figure out where I'm going so we're off to find a big sign that says western Okay, look, I got so much to tell you. Like, my time before this concert has been like wild. Okay, I'm back at Western. I woke up and now I felt like I didn't get the best like shots yesterday. So it's 10 a.m. right now. My check-in time at the hotel isn't until like four. So I'm gonna try to get like a you know, sooner time or whatever, check in time. Um, but I didn't get the shots that I needed to get yesterday. It was kind of dark. I was kind of discouraged. Like that was a whole thing. So I'm back right now, just trying to get a few couple shots, you know, here and there while the sun is coming up because the sun is rising right in front of me. And I know this statue I got yesterday was not cute. Like, I, uh -uh. so I'm gonna hurry up and do that. I'm gonna go in the burn hard, wash up in the sink, real quick um put on my wig and then when i go to chicago i'm going to finish getting ready for the concert and i'm going to have a blast at the concert you, you gotta understand this you know what i'm saying like you like i feel like i owe it to myself you know what i'm saying because yo last night i spent the night over my friend's brother my brother's friend's house <laughs> my brother's friend's house and when i tell you they were just so nice. The sweetest guys. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. They gave me their couch right at the last minute. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to book a hotel room. Everything was booked because they had like a football game yesterday. So I'm like, all right. All right. Well, let me see if I can call my brother and he can make some stuff happen. And he did. Shout out to Avery. I love that little one. So I went over there. Boom. I'm watching. I'm watching uh, some, some TV on the laptop. And... The lights to get the flickering. I'm like, oh no, oh god, please turn on the lights, turn on the lights, turn on the lights. Damn, say you can't play no games. You want to sleep? <laughs> I can't watch no TV. He didn't turn on the lights till about 8 a.m. <laughs> so I'm just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? So boom, I fell asleep a little bit, woke up, but I had to go down on a first floor because I was a little nervous, you know what I'm saying? I was a little nervous, okay? Because when I say it was pitch black in the house and it was pitch black outside of the house, like this dude ran into a pole down here, knocked down the electricity pole, and it made like, I don't know, miles of Kalamazoo blacked out, right? And I'm just like, this is something right here. I'm like, I'm never gonna forget this. The day I come up to Kalamazoo, is the day the power get knocked out. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting around with like three candles, four candles, you know what I'm saying? But when I tell you my spirits are up, they're up and I'm excited, okay? Um, may God bless this. And it's been a long road coming up to this concert. I'm not gonna hold you this. We've done a lot of stuff. Taking pictures for applications. You know what I'm saying? Doing all this stuff, getting ready, makeup in the car, getting ready in the car. I put this whole outfit on in the car, okay? But you know me like I know me and we know me that I'm going to be in Chicago having the most fun thing e see I was trying to rhyme okay boom boom but no boom let's let's keep it going I'm going to show you a little bit a little bit um of the campus but yeah I made it we making it let's go and that's where I'm going to be at right here taking a video in front of there they building a new building a new student center they said i saw it i'm like wow okay it's the go for me okay give it a little taste <laughs> okay 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 so i'm done shooting and the footage is smacking honey it's smacking like i can't wait to tell you what's going on may god bless this endeavor if it's not in my path it's cool. Okay, look, so you want to know something? So I've been like reading a lot on faith and hope. And before, like a couple months ago, 
I've been trying to condition myself to not get my hopes up so I can protect my feelings from getting hurt, right? But that sucks the life out of the enjoyment that you could receive if you chose to be very excited throughout the process. Like the outcome shouldn't determine how you act throughout the process. Like your process should be A1 regardless of if you get it or don't get it, right? So I'm watching Michael Todd and he has this crazy faith series and it's his series are so timely in my life. They're so timely, okay? Now, Michael Todd, in his book, I'm also reading his book, but also in his sermons, right? He preached big on imagination, but he also reiterated how hope and faith are very, like, twins. They're related, twins, very much so. Like, one without the other is like, hold on, where is the other one? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm working on getting my hopes up. And I put that on my Instagram, too. Um, and he said that, Michael Todd said that believing is our job, right? So, if you believe that you have something, you'll act as such, right? You'll implement some new strategies throughout your life that accommodate that goal. You would be excited and happy that you're about to walk into it right um, so believing right is our job and then the outcome is God's job now I used to get really mad at God like God bro like you know what I'm, like you're like you're not delivering how I need you to deliver but who am I you know what I'm saying who am I to tell God how he delivering and not delivering like Huh? You know? And all I can do is believe, right? If I get it, if I don't get it. It's a blessing if I get it. It's a blessing if I don't get it, right? It's a blessing regardless. So I definitely need to start acting like it's a blessing, right? From the very beginning, the very start of something to the very end of something, you know? So, child. Um, I... Uh, I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Get it or don't get it. I feel like this opportunity is definitely mine. Um, just because one signs, like earthly signs are pointing to it for sure. But also, I can't really distinguish and decipher the next step, right? So when I graduated from college, I had my whole life planned out, right? Okay, yes, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And it didn't happen that way. But now I'm more so trusting God just step by step, you know? Like, I'm trying to listen to God, see what he put in front of me, see the signs that he's putting in front of me, either through people, time, anywhere. Anywhere, anybody, in every instance. And... I'm excited to tell you like the full story, but but I do have faith that I'm going to receive it for sure. Like these shots are amazing. Um, I understand the next step, but once I receive this next step, I don't really know the step next afterwards, right? Um, I just know I want God to help me build relationships so I can then use those relationships and lever leverage them into amazing opportunities for people um, especially in fashion and especially for children but that's you know what i'm saying that's all i already got but um but yeah but i feel like yeah this is definitely faith field and my hopes are high and i'm excited and you know what i'm saying it's a lot of infinite possibilities but i'm excited about all the possibilities literally like um yeah it, it's gonna be great and i don't want to cry <laughs> Uh, my makeup is gone okay but, but this is about to be so good it's about to be so good and i can feel it i can feel it and then on top of that i'm going to the jonathan McReynolds concert huh huh you can't knock my high huh like i've been listening to his music for probably two years now 
consistently let it like every day you know what i'm saying because life is challenging it's hard and i didn't know the importance of gospel music until shoot last year this year right like it's just something that cultivates your soul more so it it refines your soul right and refining okay i'm pretty sure the process is putting something in fire to purify it okay baby in the fire it don't feel that good it don't feel good at all the fire the fire honey no it don't feel good oh my goodness honey because some moments in my life child i'm just like ah, i can't this is a lot a whole lot please no okay but the refining process i have faith in it i have faith in it i have faith in god i love god i believe in god and I know God is going to deliver exactly how he's supposed to deliver at the time he's supposed to deliver because baby is the time. Michael Todd reiterated something else in his book and he said the waiting, the waiting period on the process. No, the waiting period to the blessing is like super hard. He, he, said it way better in the book so go by the book but it's hard waiting for a promise you know what i'm saying like you know it's gonna happen like i know i'm gonna be good but it don't look like that right now you know what i'm saying like i know i'm gonna be good i know i'm gonna be straight because god said it right i feel it i know it you know but child it ain't looking like you know what i'm saying it's some stuff i don't i can't even fix with my own two hands you know like i can't even fix it but i'm believing god for it believing god for it and if it don't come to pass then we got some stuff to talk about in heaven with all respect and honor though let's be real clear okay <laughs> hey let's be real clear oh it's real clear okay period because look terrified i'm terrified of god low-key am i write a note write a note give it to him okay and then just bow and then when he start responding, asking if I could look up, type deal, you know. So, um, yes, ma'am. Yes, girl. Yes, gentleman. Mm. It's been great. Up in Kalamazoo. I'm about to get ready to go to Chicago. And hopefully I can stop by my hotel that I booked. Put my stuff in there. Finish getting ready. And then be on to the concert. Oh, I can't wait. Ah, I can't wait. My favorite song. Favorite song. Song by one of my favorite artists. Oh, live, honey. In a cute outfit, honey. In a cute wig, honey. Honey, honey. <laughs> oh, it's so... Oh, child, it's lit. Oh, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Oh, enjoy, honey. Because today's spirit, today's attitude was very different than yesterday's. And I'm happy to say that we here. We made it. And let's go. 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 Hey. Let's go. 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 take this off in Chicago and see what magic it has done. If it hasn't done anything, darling, then I might switch the wig. What is that? Hmm. But we're on the way now. We're on the way to Chicago, honey. I know I'm gonna get some gas. I know I'm gonna get something to like eat-ish, maybe. Yeah, I am. I'm just gonna figure out what I want to eat, because I don't want to eat no more fast food. That junk tore my stomach up yesterday. I know that's TMI, but yeah. But no, um, so I don't know what I'm going to eat. I know I got to, I know I'm going to gas up. And that's interesting, my gas tank, it said half a tank, but I was like, oh God. Maybe I'll gas up just in case. I'm 
grab some food and then be on the way to the hotel. Boom, and then hopefully I can take a shower, a nice shower, a nice hot shower. Put on my clothes, walk to the venue. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun and I'm excited. Um, my hair, okay, look, 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 look. So this is the dilemma, the wig is old. So between me and you, I'm talking about, it. yeah. It's old, so you know how you gotta keep, you know, running your hands through it to make it look some type of way as soon as it move one way. So that's where this wig is at right now. So I think I'm going to, when I get to the hotel room, I'ma grease it up real good and then I'ma curl it. So I'ma put some like wand curls. And then it's gonna be greasy, but it's gonna have some bend to it too, you know? So I, I don't look like a uh, oily puppy or something. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but if not, then this is the look. We gonna see though, because you know me, I be, um, I run behind sometimes so much, so yeah. But we'll see how it looks when we get there. You know, when we get there. Hopefully, hopefully I like the front. That's really my biggest concern, like the front of it. But yeah. I might go to the beast supply and buy some earrings too. Because I don't got no earrings in the car. And I'm trying to bling out. You know me. <laughs> okay, I just grabbed some studs. Because I didn't have no studs, but I really, really wanted some studs. And it's my birthday um, month. So I get what I want. Period. So yeah. Oh no. I think I got alcohol on my notebook. I did that once before I was sick about it. Okay. So you already know what's coming up. Chicago, we are on our way finally. Okay, I'm going to the hotel. Hopefully I can check in early. And we are gonna get ready for this concert, baby, because the concert start at 5.30 and I'm trying to be early because I want a good spot. Ugh, okay, all right, okay, okay. So we are on our way to Chicago Western. I love you, boo. It's been good, it's been great. I had to grab some lunch on the way. Come on now, get into it. Oof. I'm gonna tell you, I gotta tell you that. We here! Woo! Baby, we in Chateau! But it's rush hour. It's giving rush hour. And it's giving people can't drive. I think people drive worse here than Detroit for sure. But probably because it's more people, but neither here nor there, baby. One good lady. She was riding on the uh, shoulder right there. Hold on, wait. You gotta see it. Boom, right there. Riding on the shoulder. Speeding too, flying. Like, well, okay. Another one was in the third lane, crossed all the way over in front of me. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is so cool, though. Like, this is my first time actually driving to Chicago. I've been in Chicago, like, a couple times. You know what I'm saying? And. It's been great. Chicago always fun. But I either like took the train, you know, like I never actually drove in. So this is like my first time seeing the city from, you know, the skyline and all that. Yeah, like wow. And I'm just taking it all in like, dang, like Chicago is like a major city, like major, major though. You know what I'm saying? Like Detroit is a major city, but child, Chicago different beast and remember don't laugh at my hair because baby ugh, i'm a i'm a i'm a doctor though when i get to the what's the face and i feel like god gave me a little bit more time too because it's 243 right now i wonder if like chicago is a couple hours ahead of detroit or some junk maybe though but yo like period i'm about to get off the phone though because i'm kind of nervous you know me but look like look at that they stay in Okay, bet, and I can help you out. Oh, yes. Oh, stop this. I'm gonna take her in here. Oh, she is nice. Look, look, look. It's 3.33. It's 3.33. I'm here. It's been a long time coming, but I'm here. And I'm about to have the time of my life. I know it. 
I just cannot wait. I've had so much fun. Oh, it feels good to just be laying down. I got a king size bed, baby. Oh. It's lit, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. How y'all like my performance? Because that's definitely the mood. Okay, I'm dizzy. Because I'm thirsty too. And I gotta take a shower. But I'm excited. I might change the weight up, but I don't know. Don't laugh at my hair. It's gonna look better, I promise. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I gotta hurry up. I do gotta get ready though for real. I gotta hurry up. I'm done. I'm ready. I had to change the wig. The wig was stressing me out. It was too high maintenance. I'm like, uh-uh, sis. I'm the only queen around here, sis. Okay. <laughs> I am the only queen, sweetie. So, bring it down a notch. All right. So, I'm about to get to it. We're about to hit the House of Blues. And I think the show starts at 5.30, but then on the website it says it starts at 6.30. Who knows? It's 5.19 right now. So, I'm walking a little bit late. It's cool because we still about to have fun. I'm about to listen to all my favorite songs. We're about to be jamming. My wig better not slide back. And that's on it. And we're walking. And we're walking. Hey, Chicago. I'm excited. Ugh. There's so many people out here. It's crazy. I gotta crush the wig. Come on. You ain't gonna. Oh. Jeez, I'm like. Okay, do you see this line, sweetie? It's around the corner. That's, that's where the house of blues is at. We showed up in our Sunday best stuff. She cute. This one, this girl right here, she cute too. She's cute, she's cute. I just know the show better be good. I know it's gonna be good. Though. I'm excited. Oh,
Brother A and the Jeffrey. Okay. The 47th and Vincennes and the 50th and King. I'm messing all these addresses up. And we've done so many cities. We've been all around. We've had such a good time. But I'm so glad to be in my hometown. How do you feel? Take me, baby. 
concert was lit it needed to be longer because it was so good like i was like y'all about to end what like what um boom i'm exhausted i went to go grab a salad from portobello portobellis or portobellos i think it's portobellos and some wine and i'm about to just chill chill real hard and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna sleep in i wanted to like wake up and get some uh, like work done and like take some pictures and like all of that good stuff. But baby, your girl is tired. Your girl is tired. Last night I slept on somebody's couch. Child, this night I get to sleep in a bed. So I think I'm gonna enjoy this bed, okay? For the, as long as I can. As long as I can, like living. Mm. I'm not smelling too right, too right. You know what I gotta do? Um, I gotta figure out like a new deodorant because I don't think mine is working out anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, but hopefully you enjoyed this vlog and concert was lit. Jonathan is super talented, very anointed, and I was so glad to have seen him, watched him, and just, you know, him actually do his thing in the car. I was thinking like, I love Jonathan's ministry, Tasha Cobb's ministry, just their ministry period, them types of people, the the influencers of gospel music because they're being a mirror, right? They're allowing God's light to shine and reflect off of them onto us, you know what I'm saying? And I just love the view, you know? So, yeah, I love you. Just know that if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm tired. I love you. I'm about to hit that shower. Something crazy. About to take this wig off. 
and enjoy the bed, the TV, eat my salad, baby. Oh, and hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. I love you. You're important. Be the best person you can be. Continue to strive. Continue to work hard. I see you. Your work doesn't go unnoticed. Okay? Talk to you. Love you. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. I just woke up. And... Child. Mm. Was it nice just to like lay you know what i'm saying lay in the bed you know oh but yeah but i'm about to get up put on some makeup and take a couple pictures take, take a couple product shots and all that uh, i'm gonna try to hurry up my checkout is at 12 so i need to get up now I kind of want to chill some more though. But I'm going to get up, check out, put my stuff in the car. And then I'm going to, you know, walk around Chicago for a little bit. Uh, yeah, girl. Because, yeah, just see where God takes me until like 4 o'clock. And then I think at 4, I'm going to head back home to Detroit. I'm going to get back in Detroit around like 8, probably 9 o'clock. I think that's a pretty good time. But... Pray for me because it's good rush hour, okay? So, um, but yeah, it's been fun though. Yesterday wore me out. I'm not gonna hold you up. Ooh, I'm taking pictures for the application to get them ready for the Jonathan McReynolds concert, going to the concert. Like, yeah, the concert was fun though. I waited in line for an hour. It still was late to the concert. He had the dang one line was wrapped around the block. Wrapped around the block. It was cool talking to people about Jonathan in line, though. That was cool. It's like, yeah, what's your favorite song? Like, da da da, you know? But, um, but yeah. Like, yesterday was lit. I can't wait to, like, get home and just, like, think about it again, you know? Enjoy it in my imagination and stuff. The concert was way too short. Way too short. <laughs> way too short. You hear me? Way too short. But neither here nor there, yeah. Get into it. I'm about to hurry up, do some five minute makeup. Nothing major. All right. See y'all in a minute. <clears throat> I'm making such good timing. Like I've been hustling and bustling, doing makeup in 15 minutes, taking pictures in 30 minutes, eating in 15 minutes. You know, very rigorous schedule. But we made it. We gonna, what is it called? Clock out, sign out at 12. Um, Yeah, but I ain't leaving till four, so I'm gonna walk around the city a little bit, you know. Literally, yeah, I'm excited to do so, see what's popping, see what's going on on this good Monday. But I think at four o'clock, I'm gonna be on my way. So bye, Chicago. Ah. We had so much fun. Mm. Okay, I just stumbled upon something and I don't know what it is. That's crazy. Is it a parade? Hey, uh, do you know what's going on? Columbus Day Parade. Okay, wow. All right. Wow, all right. Yeah. Is this a big thing here all the time? Yes, it is. Oh. I think this is the first time since the uh, COVID that we had. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Detroit? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to see what's going on here. Right, right, right. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. It was so nice. Be safe, all right. So nice. Columbus Day Parade. Child, psych or psych? Like, no shade, no tea. But I heard, I very much so heard that Columbus 
didn't find he didn't find anything all right he took it child it's a lot of people though Ready? Cool. Ugh.